नमस्कार साहित्य का महाकुंभ देखने जा रहे हैं आप मैं हूं आपके साथ कमरुद्दीन खान जयपुर लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल का आज से आगाज हो रहा है सीएम राजे और एसएल ग्रुप के एमडी पुनीत गोयनका फेस्टिवल में पहुंच चुके हैं तस्वीरें आपको दिखा रहे हैं इस वक्त की जहां पर मुख्यमंत्री वसुंधरा राजे फेस्टिवल में पहुंच चुकी हैं ये तस्वीरें आपको दिखा रहे हैं वो यहां इसका उद्घाटन करेंगी दीप प्रज्वलित करके उद्घाटन किया जाएगा और भी कई जानी मानी हस्तियां इसमें पहुंच रही हैं पहुंच चुकी हैं तो सीधी तस्वीरें आपको जयपुर से दिखा रहे हैं जहां पर जी जयपुर लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल का आज से आगाज हो रहा है मुख्यमंत्री वसुंधरा राजे और एसएल ग्रुप के एमडी डी पुनीत गोयनका भी पहुंच चुके हैं ये सीधी तस्वीरें आपको हम दिखा रहे हैं जयपुर में साहित्य के महाकुंभ से जहां पर मुख्यमंत्री पहुंच चुकी हैं कुछ ही देर में इसका उद्घाटन किया जाएगा और उनके सम्मान में ये संगीतकार म्यूजिक बजाते हुए ये नवा जी जयपुर लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल है 2006 में इसकी शुरुआत की गई थी मंत्री वसुंधरा राजे यहां पर पहुंच चुकी हैं और उनके साथ साथ नजर आ रहे हैं सर ग्रुप के एमडी पुनीत वनका कुछ ही देर में इस फेस्टिवल का उद्घाटन हो जाएगा फेस्टिवल की शुरुआत सबसे पहले 2006 में हुई थी हर साल जयपुर के डिग्गी पैलेस में आयोजन होता है दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा फेस्टिवल है ये लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल मूल के भारतीय लेखक रस्किन बॉन्ड 2015 के मैन बुकर पुरस्कार विजेता मेलन जिम्स आयरलैंड के लेखक कॉल लाइविन कनाडा के उपन्यासकार भी इसमें शामिल होंगी तो ये सीधी तस्वीरें हम आपको राजधानी जयपुर से दिखा रहे हैं जहां पर एसएल ग्रुप के चेयरमैन डॉक्टर सुभाष चंद्रा बुक का बुक का आज विमोचन होगा उनकी जो बुक थी द सेट फैक्टर माई जर्नी एज द रॉन्ग मैन एट द राइट टाइम हालांकि इस बुक का विमोचन कल हो चुका है प्रधानमंत्री के हाथों से आज फिर से इसका विमोचन होगा और इस बुक को इसमें लॉन्च कर दिया जाएगा जयपुर लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल का आज से आगाज हो चुका है मुख्यमंत्री राजे और एसएल ग्रुप के एमडी डी पुनीत गोयनका इसमें पहुंच चुके हैं शिरकत कर चुके हैं और भी कई जानी मानी हस्तियां इसमें शरीक कर चुकी हैं और भी कई लोग पहुंच रहे हैं आने का सिलसिला जारी है मुख्यमंत्री के हाथों इसका उद्घाटन होना है और उनका साथ देंगे एस ग्रुप के चेयरमैन डॉक्टर सुभाष चंद्र इक्कीस यानी आज से लेकर पांच दिनों तक ये फेस्टिवल चलेगा पच्चीस तारीख तक चलेगा मुख्यमंत्री वसुंधरा राजे फेस्टिवल में मौजूद हैं एसएल ग्रुप के एमडी डी पुलिस गोयनका भी मौजूद हैं पांच दिनों तक ये लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल चलेगा तो इसी जयपुर लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल का आगाज हो चुका है बस इसका उद्घाटन होना बाकी है आज से इसकी शुरुआत हो रही है मंत्री पहुंच चुकी हैं आपको सीधी तस्वीरें हम दिखा रहे हैं और ये संगीतकार उनके सम्मान में संगीत बजाते हुए और तमाम जो ये देखिए जयपुर के मेयर भी वहां पर नजर आ रहे हैं एसएल ग्रुप के एमडी भी नजर आ रहे हैं पांच दिनों तक ये कुंभ चलेगा साहित्य का महाकुंभ पांच दिनों तक चलने वाला है Good morning. What better way to start the Jaipur Literature Festival than to have Nathulal Salanki, 13th generation Nagara player from Pushkar, and most importantly, with him. Please. Normally, they've been kept out of this tradition, but thank you, Nathulal ji, for being so inclusive. <laughs> Honorable Chief Minister of Rajasthan, Vasundar Rajesh Sindhya. Member of Parliament, Mr. Bora, 
honor chief guest Margaret Atwood, Puneet and Shreyasi Goenka, General Sahani, all our authors who've gathered here from so many different countries, each of you who've traveled from across the world in India to be here at the inauguration. On behalf of Namita Gokhale, William Dalrymple, and my colleagues at Teamwork, we'd like to welcome you here to the 9th Z Jaipur Literature Festival. This past year, the festival has traveled to different parts of the world. It's found a home at London, at the South Bank, and it traveled way across, as they say, the pond, to find a new home at Boulder, Colorado. It's been an amazing journey that a festival so young has been able to achieve so much. Many people say to us, how have you got to where you've got? And we keep saying that this is an equal measure to a number of wonderful accidents. The first, that it is held here in Jaipur, Rajasthan, where were you to drive through this magnificent state, you will encounter around every corner a fort, a palace, perhaps a tiger, wonderful birds, incredible itinerant musicians, itinerant musicians, and the incredible craft and art and culture that this particular desert state is known for. So thank you, Rajasthan. To the city of Jaipur that has embraced this festival, that calls its festival its own, that people from every walk of life flock here year after year, from the person who drives the scooter out on the street to the person who sells moonfully, Everybody feels that this is their festival, and we acknowledge that with deep gratitude. Thank you. <laughs> to our hosts, Jyotika and Ram Pratap, and their wonderful home, Diggy Palace, which each year seems to expand almost automatically to include so many more thousands of people. We began nine years ago at the Darbar Hall, 250 of us. The Chief Minister then remembered that we could hardly squeeze our way in there. Today, we get over 270,000 people over the five days. And each year, this particular space tends to expand, and they welcome us not just into their home, but into their hearts and their souls, so thank you very much. <laughs> to our wonderful directors, Namita and William, who bring together the most incredible minds from across the continents. This year, you will hear about 400 speakers, both here at the Jaipur Richa Festival and at JBM, and over 105 performers. Speakers who've come together for the brilliance of what they represent. We live in strange times. It's a troubled world that we all inhabit. What do authors do? They help us understand. They show us the light. They allow us a debate. They allow us to discuss. They open our minds to another world. The Jaipur Literature Festival is one of the few places that you can sit here in the front lawn and without moving an inch, travel all the way from Wellington to Vancouver, understanding different cultures, different philosophies, different histories, different people, their traditions, their conflicts, their concerns. And all of this today is extremely important. 
Across the world we find voices have become extremely strident. Lines have been drawn between ideologies, between religions, between color, between race. Perhaps it's time to tarry but a while and listen. Listen to see what exactly people are saying. Listen and understand that they can coexist different points of view. Yes, there's conflict, but is there a solution to it? Is the solution only to shout and scream through television channels and debates? Is there a time to now just hunker down and look at the many issues that confront the world, the issues that are most important, issues of inequity and of inequality? And this is what we need to resolve. This is what we need to solve. This is what we need to focus on. Over the next five days, you will hear so many wonderful speakers. And I hope you will carry away with you some of these ideas, some of their thoughts, and go out and practice and put into a, a new reality some of what you've taken from here. Making sense of India is very difficult. India lives in many centuries at the same time. Our festival director, Namita Gokhale, tries to weave together a program with her 200 odd authors to showcase the diversity and the different facets of India. Please welcome her to tell you a little bit about this year's program. Namita. बहुत खुशी हुई आज फिर से यहाँ सम्मिलित हुए आप सब लोग साहित्य प्रेमी और पहले रो में बैठी हैं वसुंधरा राजे जी जो खुद बहुत साहित्य प्रेमी हैं और लेखकों का सम्मान और सहयोग करती आई हैं जिसके लिए मैं और हम सब बहुत कृतज्ञ हैं आज जयपुर साहित्य उत्सव की नई कड़ी में मौजूद सारे साहित्य प्रेमियों को नमस्कार कुछ दिनों में कुछ दिनों से मन में कवि दुष्यंत कुमार की एक कविता गूंज रही थी मेरे सीने में नहीं तो तेरे सीने में सही हो कहीं भी आग लेकिन आग जलनी चाहिए वैसे तो लेखकों को चुप करना बहुत मुश्किल है लेकिन आज मेरी आवाज ने धोखा दिया है और मैं खासे खासे दो शब्द बोलने की कोशिश करूंगी जरा माफ कर दीजिएगा हर साल जयपुर साहित्य उत्सव के लिए मन में कोई नई उपमा सोचती है कभी इसकी तुलना साहित्य के कुंभ मेले से की तो कभी बरगद के वृक्ष से जो अपनी शाखाओं को दूर दूर तक फैलाता है इस साल का साहित्य उत्सव साक्षात कथा सरित सागर है उसके रूप में ये उपमा उभरी है विचार संवाद और किस्से कहानियों का आदान प्रदान इस उत्सव की आबो हवा में है हमेशा की तरह इस साल हमारे साथ भारतीय भाषाओं के जाने माने विद्वान हैं जैसे कि अलका सरावगी मृदुला सिन्हा अनु सिंह चौधरी उदय प्रकाश अशोक वाजपेयी रविकांत प्रभात रंजन इत्यादि संथाली और अन्य आदिवासी साहित्य के प्रकाशक रूबी हेम्ब्रम भी हमारे साथ हैं कन्नड़ के विवेक शानबाग बांग्ला से अनीता अग्निहोत्री पंजाब से बन सिंह देशराज काली गुजरात से इलाराब मेहता सितांशु यशचंद्र और त्रिदीप सहरूद सम्मिलित हैं यहाँ डिगी पैलेस में समग्र भारत की रचनाएं शामिल हैं जिनमें गद्य कविता और अनुवाद का अनूप तालमेल है विचारों की अभिव्यक्ति बोलने सुनने की स्वतंत्रता और रचनात्मक मन, रचनात्मक मंथन आपके समक्ष प्रस्तुत होगा जी जयपुर लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल 2016 का जज्बा पूरी तरह से निष्पक्ष और लोकतांत्रिक रहेगा 
जयपुर बुकमार्क अपनी तीसरे संस्करण में विभिन्न भारतीय भाषाओं के अनुवाद पर जोर देते हुए विदेशी और भारतीय प्रकाशन को एक दूसरे से बात करने का मंच देगा राजस्थानी जैसे सांस्कृतिक क्षेत्र में राजस्थान जैसे सांस्कृतिक क्षेत्र में भारतीय व अंतर्राष्ट्रीय लेखन का हार्दिक स्वागत है आशा है कि जयपुर के इस कथा सरित सागर में सुर मिले शब्दों और विचारों की शक्ति बढ़े एक बार फिर कवि दुष्यंत कुमार की कविता याद आई सिर्फ हंगामा खड़ा करना मेरा मकसद नहीं सारी कोशिश है कि ये सूरत बदलनी चाहिए मेरे सीने में न हो तो तेरे सीने में सही हो कहीं भी आग लेकिन आग जलनी चाहिए In my speech just now, I began with some lines from the Hindi poet, the late Dushant Kumar. They were about the creative fire and keeping the flame alive. In the familiar surroundings of the magical Digi Palace, I'm deep, deeply grateful to the audiences for making the Z Jaipur Literature Festival what Time Magazine described as the world's most electric meeting of literary minds. I would particularly like to thank Vasundhara Raja ji, the Chief Minister of Rajasthan, for nurturing our festival to such new heights. And I have to share with you that there were years when she would come in casually, when she was not the Chief Minister for a while in between, she would sit down in the, on the ground in the crowded front, uh, in the, uh, and the students and the children would gather around with love and affection, or she would be in the bookshop buying her books, it, it was wonderful to have her support. Every year I come up with a new and apt metaphor for the much beloved Z Jaipur Literature Festival. In 2011, it was our first ever Woodstock moment when a sort of critical mass accrued to us. Then, in coming years, I compared it to a pilgrimage, a literary kumbh mela, and later to a spreading banyan tree. This year, the metaphor that rises to mind is of the Katha Sarit Sagar, which is the sea of stories. An entire cultural ecosystem of ideas, dialogue, and shared narrative has evolved around our festival. At a time when the world is taking up fixed and rigid positions, the Jaipur festival is steadfast in upholding the value of responsible debate, of the free exploration of ideas, of listening in as well as speaking out. Uh, one of our key themes this year include an interrogation of the idea and practice of privacy in a series of very differently structured sessions. The other theme we address is on negotiating modernity through different aspects of continuity and change, progress and regression. We also pay tribute to the late Lloyd and Suzanne Rudolph, distinguished scholars, long-standing residents of Jaipur. It would be appropriate to quote Suzanne and Lloyd in this context. They said, the assumption that modernity and tradition are radically contradictory rests on a misdiagnosis of, uh, mis of tradition as it is found in traditional societies, a misunderstanding of modernity as it is found in modern societies, and a misapprehension of the relationship between them. As usual, we continue to showcase the Indian languages with an impressive roster of Hindi writers, including Alka Saraugi, Mridula Sinha, Anu Singh Chaudhary, <coughs> Uday Prakash, Ravi Kant, Prabhat Ranjan, so many others. We have Vivek Shanbagh from Canada, Anita Agnohotri from Bangla, Ban Singh and Desraj Kali from Punjab, three very eminent writers from Gujarat, Sahil Magbul and Siddharth Gigu from Kashmir. We have works and translations from across India, including Jerry Pinto's powerful rendering of Daya Pawar's Marathi Dalit novel, Baluta, Tridip Serut's translation of the classic Gujarati work, Saraswati Chandra, and uh, Priya Sarukai Chhabria and Ravi Shankar's interpretation of the medieval mystic poet, Andal, and of a very distinguished Andal session, uh, which my... the director DS group to come up on stage as well.
you very much. Can I please request the Honorable Chief Minister to release the program of the Jaipur Literature Festival with Namita and William. William, come back. The one, the one state, the one state in this country that seems to understand. I don't think I can, and there are many people here, I don't think many of us can go to bed without reading a few pages of our books, however tired we may be. So today, I want to just welcome from the bottom of my heart, Margaret Atwood, and the many, many wonderful people who I bought books to read about and who I never had the opportunity to meet. So it's like being, um, the people say to me, how do you feel about this one? But it's such an exciting thing. It's not about m somebody shaking my hand, it's about me being able to get to shake somebody's hand, who I know has done some amazing and wonderful things in his life, brought it to people like us, who possibly would never get that chance to go that far. So, Sonja took away my words, you know, in the situation that I am in, there are no free lunches. And obviously I have a vested interest. And one of the vested interests is, of course, apart from meeting all the wonderful people that I managed to get to meet here, and it's, it's about the cross-section from kids all the way up to older people. And Jyotika and uh, Ram Pratap, I just don't understand. How do you manage to spread this out? Every year they tell me it cannot be. And every year I see that it is. So we do squeeze ourselves. I don't know how we do it. But we do manage to squeeze ourselves into this wonderful magical place that takes us on these great journeys. And as I see from this year, it's going to be many, many wonderful journeys this year too. So my vested interest, my vested interest is about Jaipur. My vested interest is about getting all these wonderful people to Jaipur, to Rajasthan. My vested interest is about lots of people trailing in here after you. That give the opportunity for Rajasthan to showcase itself to people from across the world. I'm happy to tell you that we've just done our tourism uh, launch. And uh, it's an extremely interesting one. So if any of you manage to get a moment, which is very difficult, to get onto television, you might be able to see some of this. It's quirky, it's interesting, it's fun. And that's how it should be. I decided that this time we were not going to be dull, boring, and take you down the same route. So if you do manage to grab it, I'd love to hear from you all. Apart from that, um, I'm just going to say to you that this is a great experiment. This experiment gets bigger and bigger. He asked me, he said, why don't you come to South Bank, then South Bank in the UK, in London, and then on to the US. Please stay with us. <laughs> because, I mean, you know, when you start doing this, so many of them will say, oh, America is so much easier, let's just go to America. UK is so much easier, let's go to UK. And all these wonderful, wonderful people who have to come to us, otherwise, will not. So please, I want to see Jyotika bursting at the seams. I want to see Diggy Palace bursting at the seams. I want to see everyone excited. I want to see Jaipur excited about hosting you all, because they are. And I want to thank you all again from the bottom of my heart for being here today with us. I know that I'm going to have five magical days wandering through all of this. Nothing expected of me, great. Just being the listener, being the fly on the wall and listening to you all and asking Sonja, do you think you can introduce me to so-and-so? 
great. Thank you all very, very much. And it's such a pleasure to have you here. Please enjoy Jaipur, enjoy this festival, and come back again and again for more. Thank you very much. Thank you, all of you. By the way, this is wonderful. Please have a look at it. I need to reassure the Chief Minister that when we have set up shop in the UK and the USA, we've actually brought back here to Jaipur many people. Uh, I just met somebody in the morning who said, I came to the UK South Bank, but hey, I wanted to see the mothership of them all, so that's why I've come here. We brought back many of our colleagues and guests, including Joni Teeter, uh, from who is, uh, represents the Library Foundation and is the wife of the mayor of Boulder, Colorado, with all her colleagues, Mike from the city and Jesse and Jules. So they've all come from America as well. So we hope to bring them back. For several years, William Dalrymple tried to pursue this particular author who was proving to be particularly difficult coming all the way to India and to Jaipur. For us here, it's been an incredible honor to have one of the greatest living writers, a legend, Margaret Atwood, Man Booker Prize winner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome her to give the keynote address here at the Z Jaipur Literature Festival. Thank you very much. Um, I have come a very long way, a little bit longer than I thought. I had an impromptu trip to Mumbai, but then I came back, so it's all good. Uh, I, did, I did come from Canada, which right now is covered with snow, so it's a pleasure to be here. It's truly an honor to have been asked to give one of the keynotes for the opening of the 2016 edition of the Z Jaipur Literature Festival and to be in the presence of such a wonderful chief minister. <laughs> you can come to Canada any time. <laughs> come to my house. <laughs> and to be among such welcoming uh, hosts and readers and to see this festival which started very very small and has now become the largest book festival in India and the largest free book festival in the entire world that's an amazing <laughs> achievement to have been invited to give a keynote here I must be either very important or very old. And I suspect that it is the latter. I am so old, in fact, that I can tell you I have been to India three times before, but the last time was 27 years ago. Some of you were not born then. Imagine that. And I am so old that there were not any festivals like this in India at that time. Amazing have been the changes in such a short space of time. And I'm even older than that because I can remember when the literary festival as an idea first took shape. In Adelaide, Australia, 
There has been an arts festival since 1960, with the Adelaide Writers Week being a part of that larger program. The first freestanding Writers Festival, the Harbourfront International Festival of Authors in Toronto, dates from 1974, but it had its roots even earlier in the coffee house movement of the late 1950s and early 1960s that began at the City Lights bookstore in San Francisco. That was the age of the beatniks. Remember them? No, you don't. <laughs> that was a time when poets and folk singers and jazz musicians used to perform in places that were typically condemned warehouses, <clears throat> with tables covered in check tablecloths, Chianti bottles with candles in them, and really bad sound systems. The one in Toronto, Canada was called the Bohemian Embassy. Some people thought it was a real embassy and <laughs> used to write to it asking for visas. But it was <laughs> called the Bohemian Embassy because arty people in those days were known as Bohemians. I was 20. I was there. That was where I first read my rather awful poetry of those days and learned how to deal with emergencies such as electrical failures and other poets who were drunk. I don't think poets are allowed to be drunk anymore, but in those days they were almost required to be drunk <laughs> if they were men. It was considered romantic. <laughs> Dylan Thomas was a very recent memory. Why Australia? Why Canada as the first builders of the literary festival as a form? And now, <clears throat> why such vigor <clears throat> in India? Although all of our countries, have got any water? <laughs> so there's gonna be a race between my voice and my speech. This is, this is what you get for being old. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>